here we're going to be replacing an old AC system. We put this furnace back in. Uh, this is a modulating amana. Um, we're putting uh, replacing AC with a Bosch. At the time, they didn't have any Bosch um, heat pumps available. So that's what we're doing. Uh, this this install turned out nicer on propane. So we're using the line set. We got a whole new thermostat wire. Morning, Tyler. Morning. Okay, so we're going to be replacing this old uh, comfort maker. This thing's probably from the late 80s. Um, we got a big old, big old mouse nest in there. They've been chewing up big time. They've been setting up uh, Hotel California there. So we're going to place the disconnect. And this is the Bosch uh, IDS 2.0. Uh, nice Diversitech uh, heat pump pad. We're going to be installing the RSH50 surge protective device on a new uh, on a new disconnect. This will protect protect the two thousand dollar board that's on this thing, and we'll get you some shots of that. All right, Tyler's working on the electric. We're uh, we put the, he put the surge surge protector in. He's working on that now. He's going to wire the whip up to this. Uh, I just got done cleaning out the the line set with these Hillmore pigs. Um, wiped all the oil out of there, so pretty easy. And uh, things are moving right along. I like this pad. These pads are nice. They keep keeps them off the ground. They're heavy duty. Um, so this will actually heat your house in the winter time. This is a heat pump for all that you don't know. Uh, Bosch IDS 2.0. Uh, this is a three ton. So a little, little tidbit for you newer, new beginners out there. If you're trying to pull wire by yourself, get a piece of copper or something long enough. And if I'm sure you got a pack out, stick your roll of thermostat wire in there. Then you can pull it through, and it's not going to get all jammed up. Let's try taught Tyler this trick, and he was trying it another way, and it wasn't working. As you can see, it's pulling through just just fine. <laughs> just a little tidbit. It's all about the bends. We got our bi-directional flow uh, filter dryer in here because obviously it flows both ways on a heat pump. that two thousand dollar board yeah, it's yeah that's why you have to put these surge protectors in because you want to protect this as much as possible even though it'd be under warranty you just don't want to take that chance so that board is something else it's a big board big board
don't have enough wires. We need a wire for O. Oh, it's for the reversing valve on the heat pump. So I'm going to use this FASTAT Model 3000. Adds two control wires, a thermostat or condenser cable. This thing's pretty slick. So this goes down in the furnace. And this here gets tight up here and you got, it gives you extra wires. All right, had to make some modifications. There's a, a stud here, of course. And so I had to drill a hole up in there and then just the, this will just slide right in. Um, yeah, put it in there, don't lose, don't drop it all the way in, but. So with this, we have a white wire, green wire, yellow wire, and a red wire, and then a red and purple. So the red and purple gets tied to, uh, so if it's just for example, you only got two wires, and you need to have five so like i said if you only have two wires and you need five wires you would basically hook up so this in this case i'm going to be hooking up to red and white this will be my traveler wires per se we can shorten these up, obviously. So, and the wire gets back tucked to C. So the new white will go to white. That's your heat. Of course, red for. 24 volts and the new yellow is going to be for my O terminal, O and B terminal. So we'll hook red. Let's see that was on power C. Yellow. This is the old yellow for the thermostat wire. And white gets tied to W and E for emergency heat. And then the new yellow gets tied to O and B. That's your reversing valve on the Bosch heat pump. Hopefully you guys understood that. This one gets wired up down here. This black one goes to common. Red and white off the thermostat wire get tied to this red and purple like we did upstairs. Red one gets Tied into here. This is for my heat pump. This white, this white get tied onto white for heat. Yeah, if you guys never use these fast stats, man, these things are a god blessing because. There's times you can't cannot pull a five wire, and you just pop these things in, and then you're done. So here we are. We're running. Got to add about nine ounces of freon. 
410A. two ounces now you see the sight glasses got a lot of bubbles still left in there 54 degrees it's 53 degrees so everything tells you right here on the Bosch heat pump what the what everything's doing so we're starting to get filled up there a little bit Starting to produce some heat. Super quiet, super quiet. Temperature is 93 degrees on this line. So our lines, liquid line temp in between 90 and 95. Our suction pressure is 305, so we're 304, so we want 7 degrees subcooling. We're at 4.3, 4.4, and we still have to add just a little bit more freon. So we'll get this thing dialed right in. The lion's chilling, chilling like a villain. We'll let that run for a few minutes longer. <laughs> All right, here's the beautiful Bosch IDS 2.0. This is a three ton. You can make it a two and a half or a three or a two just by flipping the dip switches. Um, everything's set. We got our RSH 50 on there, surge protector. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. So, if you, out of this, uh, if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up. And if you're the one who's smashing that thumbs down, do that twice. That'd be great. We'll see you in the next one.